Welcome back to another episode of The Founder. I'm with Chenuka. So Chenuka started off her baking career as a hobby and then decided she's going to pursue this back in 2020. So let's talk to Chenuka more about her uh, accomplishments. Hi Chenuka, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you? And um, thank you so much for having <laughs> me here today. No worries. So tell me a little bit about your company, I would say. Um, so CC's by Che, or you can say Confections Connection, um, is actually a business based on mouth-watering goods mm -hmm. that makes cakes, confection boxes, and my specialty is chocolate-covered strawberries. Um, so it's something I started that I wanted to give something that everyone can um, have, so there's something for everyone. Mm -hmm. And when you do order, um, I can guarantee you, you don't get the same thing that another customer got. Okay. Everything is customized from the color theme to the wordings to how the decorations look. So when you do order, you truly do get a personalized mm -hmm. um, option of a option of food yes. or whatever you order. Yes. yes. So what inspired you to start this? Um, to be honest, as, as old as I can remember, um, I used to help my mom bake. She's a great baker and a cook. Uh, she used to make all our birthday cakes. Um, I used to help her by maybe saving the flour or eating better <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> um, so I could say she's my inspiration mm -hmm. and she's actually watching her bake is something that I want to do as well okay. after. So a lot of people, I mean they have good ideas but some people are unable to like put it into practice. How did you go on with it? I would say perseverance and lots of planning, research, um, and motivation. Mm -hmm. um, personally, uh, for me, I don't think you can just take one product you're good at, make a page, mm -hmm. put it up, and expect it to work. You have to give your 150% mm -hmm. if you want to make it work. And I am a perfectionist, so mm -hmm. for me to get to this point, to start it up, I actually, I think, spent about a year mm -hmm. during the planning process from every little detail, like from a ribbon to the packaging mm -hmm. to a sticker. Just so to make it perfect. Just to make it perfect. <laughs> so if you have a good idea, I think everybody just needs to do a lot mm -hmm. of research and planning to mm -hmm. see what you can offer to the market that another person does not. It does not have. So uh, starting a business, there's a lot of ups and downs. Okay. Yeah, Talk to me a little bit about the challenges you had to face. Um, so as I mentioned, I started in 2020. So this was actually in the midst of the first Pandemic. lockdown. <laughs> um, so one of the challenges I faced was trying to communicate to people mm -hmm. about what I wanted, from designing the logo to finding the right packaging for me. Um, it was really difficult because I had to find everything online. Mm -hmm. I couldn't physically go, go and there. see the quality of the so product. everything was done at home. At home, yeah. remotely. And actually to find new recipes and try them out, it was so difficult because I couldn't source the proper ingredients. Mm -hmm. And when you ordered through an app, it would take like two or three hours was, for you to yeah. get it. So it was really difficult mm -hmm. to start that process. Yeah. So there are different marketing strategies. You have online, social media. Talk to me about yours. What did you use? For me, um, platforms like social media, TikTok, Facebook has worked greatly. Mm -hmm. um, and for a small business, I think that's a great, uh, these platforms are great because it comes at a lesser cost of advertising. Mm -hmm. And for me, word of mouth and recommendations, I think have worked a lot. A lot. Yeah. Um, and while marketing it through these platforms, I put it to, I price it at a point where it, you get value for money. Mm -hmm. And the packaging is such that you do want to order it and gift it to somebody mm -hmm. or you want to order it and maybe take a picture of it. It's eye-catching. <laughs> it's very eye-catching. Mm -hmm. um, so I wanted to focus on those details and market that out to my mm -hmm. customers. So talking about financing, was it easy for you? Um, to be honest, uh, this idea of mine has been in the works for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. So when I was in Australia during my master's, I worked part-time. So whatever I saved up during that time is what I actually invested oh, so in. it was by your own self you did By it. my own self, that yes. That is nice. <laughs> uh, being a startup, it's not easy. Tell me the most frustrating thing that happened to you. 
at the moment um, I can I think everyone can agree it's the current economic True. situation <laughs> and you started during the pandemic that I started happened. during the pandemic and since then it has been hard to source mm -hmm. materials and then for a couple of like since 2020 I think there were import bans yeah, um, it was hard to find ingredients, even for packaging, even though it's manufactured here, mm -hmm. the raw materials for it they are imported. Yeah. Um, so sometimes mm -hmm. there's backlogs in mm -hmm. getting my boxes across to mm -hmm. people. And another thing is, um, even though the price of everything is increasing, the consumer's purchasing power is not going mm -hmm. up. So something like this becomes non-essential. Yeah. So <laughs> eventually small businesses lose out on they business and another thing that's really frustrating i think any small business owner can agree on is customers who place an order but disappear disappear oh no <laughs> <laughs> it's really frustrating because i mean personally for me if it's a birthday cake i don't want that per someone to lose out on a birthday cake True. it's a special occasion yes. but sometimes it's really hard to know whether we need to go ahead with the order or, or not. not so it's really frustrating mm -hmm. So everybody fails, right? Yes. <laughs> fails as in like going through your business, you will have a small failure here and there. Of course. Talk to me about have you ever failed before succeeding? I wouldn't say failed, but um, actually CC's was known as Sugar Ink back okay. in 2016. Mm -hmm. Um, it was done very fast. Like I had a pop up that was coming up. So I made the local within like two days came up with a random name. Um, it did work, but it wasn't, I wouldn't say it was as successful as mm -hmm. CC's. So that's why I decided to rebrand and make it my own aesthetic to mm -hmm. whatever I want. And that's why it took a long time. So in some sort of sense, yes, that was my failure. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me what gets you up in the morning? What gets you excited to like, you know, go start working big? To what be is honest, that? it's my two cats okay. <laughs> who have to be fed up at four in the morning. Oh no! <laughs> but um, all seriousness, um, so the orders that have to go out, um, I usually have a pickup time at ten for mm -hmm. my deliveries, um, so that I can finish it off and go to my actual full time okay. job. So yeah, so I wake up around maybe around six six thirty every day <laughs> to bake. Uh, people have different kinds of definition for the word success. What is your definition to that? <sighs> okay, um, to be honest, I think for me, it's um, a cop like self-actualization and happiness. Um, it depends on person to person, obviously. Um, but for me, in terms of CCs, when someone knows my brand or when I meet someone new and mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, I do CCs and they're like, oh, we've ordered from you mm -hmm. or we know it, um, that actually makes me really happy. happy and definitely positive feedback and repeat customers are what I think is successful mm -hmm. for CCs. CCs. Uh, is there like a company or a brand you would like to take over? Um, to be honest, um, as I said, I do work a full-time job. Mm -hmm. So if I was taking over something, not taking over, let's say, um, I would like to play a bigger role in my dad's company God, yeah. and lead it someday. Mm -hmm. So I think that's the only company I would okay. like to pursue at this point in point. life. Okay. So if you weren't building up CCs, what do you think you would be doing? Um, you told me you were working with your dad as well. Yes. Okay, other ah, than the two of those. Other than the two of that, um, there's a lot of things I would be doing. <laughs> but in terms, I do love fashion a lot. Um, and it was one of my dreams to actually become a fashion designer, but it mm -hmm. never happened. <laughs> uh, but yeah, if I had the time, something related to fashion, fashion and yeah. maybe incorporate both. Mm -hmm. um, somebody something soon, hopefully. like that. Yeah. <laughs> So you have the best of both worlds. You are your own boss and you work under somebody else. Yes. But other than that, would you like to work under anyone else? Mm, no. <laughs> so you're comfortable the way you are? Yes. The only <laughs> person I would work for is my dad. Yeah. Other than that, I don't think... Um, you would like that? No. no. <laughs> okay. So if you were to have dinner with a founder of your liking, who would that be and why? Um, I don't know if you've heard. Um, Ladere. 
not exactly, but <laughs> okay. Um, so they specialize in macaroons. Okay. Um, it's a Paris. Um, it's a company based in Paris. Okay. Um, so yeah, he um, the founder started in 1860s, I think. Okay. So I would really like to sit down and pick his brain about his vision back then, mm -hmm. from seeing it where it is now. Because to be honest, the macaroons are one of the best um, tasting things I've ever had, and the aesthetic of the shop design, the packaging, the color mm. themes is something I personally love. love. So I would love to know his visions behind it. Okay. So tell me, do you have like advice you would give someone who is, you know, finding it difficult to start their own business? Um, my advice would be to find something that actually makes you happy. Like, don't do something that's just a form of income. Mm -hmm. um, if you do something that's actually making you happy, you'll want to put in that Effort. extra work and make it work um, rather than just saying, oh, okay, like this is sort of a way of getting extra money. Mm -hmm. um, I have seen a lot of businesses fail because they just started up, but mm -hmm. they're not sustainable and they're not consistent in what they do. So my advice is, if you find something that you love, put your 150% yeah. into it and make it work. And always don't be afraid to ask for advice from people, mm -hmm. um, someone close to you, like make it, will this work, will this not work? Um, that's what I did. I had a great support system, which I took advice from. So I think that's my advice. So mm -hmm. That's what you would like to tell people. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Yeah. So, so that was Shenuka. Do go check out CC's for a good sweet treat. See you next time on an episode of The Founder.